Welcome, friends, to my house. I am Ellen Garrett, Director of Children's Ministry at Brentwood United Methodist Church, and I am so glad to be a part of this edition of D Digital Discipleship. I'm sitting on my deck, enjoying the goodness of God around me, feeling it as well as hearing it through the birds. A wonderful time to enjoy this goodness of God because my prayer today is asking God to fill each one of us with his goodness, which is one of the fruits of the Spirit that Pastor Davis talked about last Sunday. I do hope that you were able to experience our worship service Sunday because we really are in a time where we need this goodness. It's hard to be good without God. The source of goodness comes from the Holy Spirit. And goodness is, is an action. It's not something we do only for the sake of being virtuous. When we strive to be good for our own benefit, it is not truly goodness that we possess. In Greek, the word goodness means an uprightness of heart and life. When we act out of true goodness of the heart, we are being obedient to God's commandments. Our actions come from a place of selflessness, and we place the needs of others before our own. Well, does that sound familiar? Yeah. The life of Jesus Christ is the perfect example of goodness. As he died on the cross for the sins of humanity in order to give, to give us the gift of eternal life, his ministry and the sacrifice is an example of God's goodness toward mankind. After all, uh, the term gospel means good news. So we are called as Christians to live in a way that reflects the character of Christ. Matthew 5.16 says, In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Goodness is not about doing elaborate things to gain recognition. Oftentimes it is the small acts of goodness we do throughout our day that mean the most to, the, to those that are around us. It is in these acts of goodness that we reflect Christ's character. While it may seem like no one notices it, God does. And ultimately, when we show goodness, we bring glory to God's name. With all that is happening around us, we need to lean into this goodness of God. So pray with me as I lead us in this prayer. Gracious, loving God, thank you for living and loving in us and through us. May all that we do flow from our deep connection with you. Lord, your goodness knows no bounds. Your children know you to be a good, good father. And your goodness is greater than we can imagine or explain. Father, you have enclosed us in your goodness, and yet you release more and more of it to us continually. We are in such awe of this goodness. So, Father, we pray that you will help us lean into this goodness. So, Father, may it follow us through acts and attitudes of generosity, mercy, and kindness. Father, continue to bestow your grace on us today as we manifest your goodness in the world. Father, we humbly ask you to fill each one of us of all ages, from young to old, with your goodness. Pour out your hope into our hearts. Revive us with showers of love and bathe us in your grace. Knowing, Father, you are hearing us better than we are speaking, we offer these prayers in all the holy names of God. Amen. Dear ones, I love you. I truly do. My heart just longs to see you in the halls of our church, right there 
by that desk when I would see you every Sunday morning walking by. I miss it. These months have been hard, but I do believe God is doing a new thing among us. In the midst of our grief, our questions, our tiredness, maybe even our exhaustion, I know through our anxiety, but I want to leave you with hope. As it says in Psalm 23, 6, Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen and amen. My prayer is that you feel the goodness of God all around you. Thank you for joining me today.